Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. 169 settlements blocked in Ven, Hakari, Bitlis and Mush. Inconveniences with regard to visas will be temporary. Minister of Foreign Affairs of Artsakh. New earthquake 12 km southeast from Yerevan. The current situation in our region is a result of the use of force by Azerbaijan with the direct involvement of Turkey. Minister of Foreign Affairs of Armenia. Consultations between Russia, Turkey and Iran in Sochi. Lekven was cleared from tons of garbage. A collection of Hagop Papazian's articles has been published. 169 settlements were blocked due to heavy snowfall in Ven, Hakari, Bagesh and Musha, Western Armenia. According to a statement by the Ven municipality, due to unfavorable weather conditions, the traffic in 142 settlements in Bashkale, two settlements in Cheldran and one settlement in Gürpnar was completely blocked. Authorities have begun clearing snow in order to open roads. The drivers had difficulties due to the heavy snow in the center of the city. According to the report, roads in 12 villages in both Bagash and Mush were closed due to the heavy snowfall. This precipitation will continue in the coming days. Inconveniences related to entering Artsakh will be temporary, as the Russian Peacekeeping Command assures. The head of the Department of Information and Public Relations at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Artsakh, Artak Nersisyan, reports. The hardships that citizens of foreign countries recently faced while entering the Republic of Artsakh are due to the imperative for increasing security in the Azerbaijan-Karabakh conflict zone. The system of ensuring entry is being introduced through cooperation with the peacekeeping forces of the Russian Federation. At the same time, it is necessary to mention that the inconveniences with regard to entry will be temporary, and this is also assured by the command of the Russian peacekeeping forces. As far as permission for entry is concerned, the procedure is clear and hasn't undergone any changes. To enter the territory of the Republic of Artsakh, Foreigners apply to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Artsakh and obtain visas of the permanent representation of the Republic of Artsakh in Yerevan in advance. Information on the visa applications is also transmitted to the Russian peacekeeping forces. The specified procedure does not imply request for consent or transfer of data to a third country. On February 17, at 7.26 a.m. local time, the seismological network of the Territorial Seismic Protection Service of the Ministry of Emergency Situations of the Republic of Armenia registered 10 km deep, 2.0 magnitude earthquake with the north length of 40.10 and east longitude of 44.57 in Armenia, 12 km southeast from Yerevan. The Minister of Emergency Situations reported. The magnitude of the earthquake in the epicenter was from 2 to 3 points. The earthquake was felt in Yerevan and Artashat with a magnitude of 2. On February 16, Foreign Minister of Armenia Ara Ayvazyan had a meeting with Wendy Morton, the UK Minister for European Neighbourhood and the Americas of Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office. Minister Ayvazyan noted that this visit is a good opportunity to touch upon the bilateral agenda and outline joint steps aimed at enriching it. In the course of the meeting, the sides touched upon the issues of regional security and stability. With this regard, Minister Ayvazyan noted, We have a new situation which was created after the use of force by Azerbaijan and with direct involvement of Turkey. As you rightly mentioned in your remarks at the House of Commons on December 8, it does not solve the conflict and we believe that only through negotiated political settlement it will be possible to address the causes and consequences of the war, having in mind the respect towards the rights of all. And eventually, through this way it will be possible to establish stability, peace and reconciliation in the region of the South Caucasus. Of course, the essence of the settlement of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict is based on the right of the people of Artsakh to self-determination. Armenia will continue to defend this right, and we are looking very forward to the recognition by the international community of this right to self-determination, because otherwise this conflict will continue to be the source of instability in the region. In the context of addressing the humanitarian issues resulting from the Azerbaijani aggression against Artsakh, the Foreign Minister of Armenia drew the interlocutor's attention to Azerbaijan's hostage-taking policy of Armenian prisoners of war, civilians, including women, noting that this is a challenge to all those who genuinely and consistently defend human rights in international arena. The delegations of the state's guarantors of the Astana process are holding trilateral consultations in Sochi today, RIA Novosti reports. International consultations will last two days. In addition to the delegations of the guarantor countries, representatives of international organizations, including the UN, the ICRC, as well as the Syrian government and opposition delegations will take part in the talks. According to the special envoy of the Russian president Alexander Lavrentiev, the agenda will include political settlement, the fight against terrorism, 
the return of refugees, the search for the missing, and the economic situation in Syria. Sochi has hosted the international meeting of Syria within Astana format since 2017. Cleaning teams and a group of volunteers from the municipality of Artamet cleaned the garbage accumulated on the shore of Lake Van in Van, Western Armenia. The teams and volunteers started the process of collecting garbage on the beach, drawing attention to the pollution of the environment. The mayor of Artamet, announcing that they want to draw attention to the pollution of the environment with the event, noted the following. We will continue the slogan Pure Artamet. Today we try to do it with the strong participation of partners. I call on everyone who enjoys the beach of Artamet and the beautiful shores of Lake Van. Our environment is our natural home. Let's protect it. A clean environment is the best legacy we can leave future generations. We cannot breathe without the environment. Let us protect our environment for our briefing. Matenandaran has published a collection of articles by Doctor of Historical Sciences Professor Jacob Papazian. The first volume includes the works of the famous scientists from 1953 to 1972, published articles dedicated to different fields of archaeology and ermonology. In the second volume, related to different problems of archaeology and ermonology. In addition to the 1973 to 1994 published studies, separate subsections also prevent the scholarly reviews and publicist materials. The compiler of the collection is historical scientist Dr. Christine Kostikian. Editor is Doctor of Historical Sciences Vahant El Revondian. The collection is for Ermonologists, Iranian scholars, Arab scholars, Turkologists, as well as readers interested in the problems of the history of late medieval Armenia. Now we present you Ertank Meregin by Mark Karitnen and Sembal. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.